Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium Barbecue Band Review. Today, I'm doing a special request. I've had quite a few people have requested for me to do a turkey on the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. As you can see, I've already kind of got the coals on. But anyhow, I started filming this last night. I did the brine for the turkey. I did another one of these um, cooks. I've done a turkey on my barrel house cooker. However, that one was a little bit different than what I'm gonna do this time. That one I injected. This one I'm brining. I'm also gonna use a new kind of rub that was sent to me. I'm gonna give a try out. But anyhow, I got the coals going. Watch how I brine it, and then I'll be back, and I'm gonna be rinsing off the turkey, patting it dry, and preparing it, all right? Let's get started. I'm back, by the way. That's a good thing. So we are inside and we're gonna make the brine for the turkey. This is a clear uh, uh, plastic garbage bag. This is a cheap old uh, little cooler here. And this is all we're gonna do. One whole onion, gonna cut this up and we're gonna put it in here. You need to get uh, six cloves of garlic, but I'm gonna use two huge cloves of elephant garlic. Okay, so the onion is gonna be just like roughly cut like this. I just cut it up. And the elephant garlic is gonna be roughly cut as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this all in. There we go. We're gonna do one and a half cups of kosher salt. All right, there you go, a cup and a half of salt. All right, you're gonna do apple juice. You're gonna do one quart or four cups of apple juice, there you go. Dr. Pepper, gonna do two quarts of Dr. Pepper. Might have to do more if uh, you don't have enough to cover the turkey. There's one, all right, there's two quarts of Dr. Pepper right there. Uh, ground pepper, three tablespoons. There's two, there's three. Brown sugar, half a cup. This is a quarter cup right here. One, two. That might be a little uh, more than half a cup, but who's counting, right? Worcestershire wort sauce. Wort sauce. Gonna go with a quarter cup, but this is here, there's not a whole lot in here, so I'm just gonna use the rest of it. There, that's about a quarter cup. Liquid smoke, quarter cup. You can use the rest that's in here. It's about a quarter cup, right there. Liquid smoke. Now we're gonna go with five quarts of water. One, two, three, four, and there's five. Okay, now time to stir it up, and that's what it should look like right there. Stir it up real good. Now time to put the turkey in. So this right here is a 16.7 pound turkey. I'm gonna get this all worked up inside there real good. I'm gonna cinch up the bag. I'm gonna, probably gonna add some more Dr. Pepper on it just to cover it some more. Okay, so I had a little, uh, uh, sprung a hole in the bag, so I had to get a new bag. But I'm gonna go ahead and add some more uh, Dr. Pepper to this. I added another quart of uh, water to it because this is a little bit bigger um, turkey. So that's a whole two liter and three cans of Dr. Pepper. Now, if you don't get it all covered up, just make sure at least the breast is inside the brine. That's the most important part to have is the breast. So that right now I have the breast is facing down. Mix around a little bit. There we go. Now it's time to get the air out of it. Get the air out of the bag. Now I'm just gonna uh, tie the bag up. Mix it around a little bit. Make sure it's all good and submersed. There you go. We'll put the, the Dr. Pepper bottle in here to keep it more submerged. Ice on it. And lid. All right, so that's it. A brine turkey had a little bit of a disaster. I leaked some uh, brine on the floor and on other stuff. I gotta clean up, but it's okay. Uh, anyhow, that I'm gonna let it brine for probably about 12 hours. Right now, it's about 8.30 at night, and I'll be revisiting this about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. This is gonna go into the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. I'm gonna show y'all how I like to hook a turkey and also gonna stuff it with some citrus and other herbs. This is going to be fantastic. So, I'll see y'all in the morning.
you want to rinse that brine off real good. Make it real good. Just get it, uh, just kind of get it off of there. Now I'll get over to the drying station. All right, so this is the drying station. All I have is basically, I just have a aluminum pan here. I have paper towels going this way, two rows going this way, and then two rows going this way. I'm gonna set the turkey in the middle, just cover it up. This is the best way to, uh, to dry um, and also to like uh, um, wrap your ribs. This is the best way to do it right here in one of these pans. That skin dry real good. Dry the inside out a little bit. All right, gonna get this outside, gonna get it prepped. So just got out here with the turkey and by the way this message goes out to the germ patrol Hey, if you're worried about me rinsing my turkey off in the sink have no worries before I brought the turkey out here I sanitized my whole work surface and I sprayed everything down with Lysol So you don't have to worry about that germ patrol. You have to give me a ticket. All right, let's get started All right, so these rubs right here were sent to me uh, to try out. I don't know how to pronounce that Suchis? Suchis? Suchis spices. Um, they sent me oh, uh, four different kinds. They have uh, exotic island spice rub. This is, I think, this is what I'm using today. That's what it looks like inside. It's just kind of like a powder. This one. This is just what I'm using today. I like this one because this one here has, uh, oh yeah, it's no uh, uh, gluten-free, non-GMO, 100% vegan, which I'm not too happy about that. Or I'd be some bits of bacon in here. Um, no preservatives. And then uh, right here, it has black pepper, chili powder, sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, curry powder, coriander powder, and brown sugar is the last one. The only thing I can say I don't like about this right here it's inside this little container. I'd rather have it inside a shaker. I don't like uh, having my rubs and stuff inside stuff like this, but that's the only knock I have on it so far. Um, they also have the Cajun Soul Spice Rub, Big Texas Spice Rub, and uh, Sweet and Spicy Smoky Rub, which sounds pretty cool too. That'd be good for like some ribs. So, but today I'll be using the uh, Exotic Island Spice Rub. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, I'll be spraying the turkey with some duck fat. I won't be stuffing it with some oranges. And by the way, I rinsed off the oranges before I brought them out here. So they're all nice and sanitary. I'm gonna be putting uh, some butter, got some cilantro, bay leaves, some chives, and also some fresh thyme back there. It's gonna be going inside the turkey. And of course, right there is the turkey. And I'm also leaving the, uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave the, the little leg thing on there, the little plastic thing that the legs go into. I'm gonna leave that on there and so I can lock out all the spices and stuff inside there. The butter, I'm just gonna cut up in chunks and throw it in there. It's probably good right there. That's all I'll need. Not a whole lot of room in that cavity of that, that turkey. It's a 16.75 ounce turkey. All right, there, done there. There we go. All right, so that spice I went ahead and I put it into a shaker bottle. That's what I don't like about these type of containers is you gotta transfer them over here because you put your finger inside there, you contaminate the whole thing. So there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do the inside first. So on the inside of the turkey, I'm gonna put a couple of the pats of butter inside there, stuff it with some of the stuff inside here some more butter some of the bay leaves here we go let's start stuffing oranges in here it's like a big old citrus gift let's squeeze some of these orange juice inside there there we go so i'm squeezing the, the orange juice inside the hole of the turkey get all this inside there there we go it's gonna be very herby aromatic and gorgeous look at that that all is gonna go in there there we go that's that. Okay, looks looks pretty, right? Looks really nice, doesn't it? Next comes the uh, the duck fat. Duck fat, and now is going to go the exotic island spice rub from uh, Suchi's Spices. Link will be down below. Uh, you can get some of that, or I'll just put it into my Amazon store. It's got a nice color, real nice color. I like this. Now this is spicy, so because uh, I, I tried some of it when it was dry, it is pretty. Uh, it's pretty dang spicy. I'm usually not in the mood for spicy food, but I am kind of am today. Lock it all in with the legs. Now comes time for the hook. Now when I hook these turkeys, I go from the back. I always go like the backside. And uh, see, I want this hook to be going out this way, so I'll be hooking this up through right here, right there. There's a little, uh, there's a little bone right there. The hooks right into. Then this one, I'm gonna be going from the top, like that. 
See, and then the back here, so you need the hook to go out this way. I'll be going this way. All right, there's that one. Now, time to get on to the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. All right, so right now, the Oklahoma Joe Bronco is at 300 degrees. Gonna try to get this thing on there. I'm using the Inkbird as well. Got the Inkbird, I'm gonna put these into the turkey while it's still uh, laying down over here. Okay, now this is gonna get kind of tricky because I'm not used to the, um, the Bronco setup and how these, how I'm supposed to hang it up. So this is gonna be a little challenging, maybe. At least I'm saying that, it'll be freaking easy, I don't know. Actually, that ain't bad. Close the lid and uh, let's get it cooking. Worked out better than I thought it was. All right, y'all, so it's been two hours. My ink bird app is not working. I don't know if they're, they are um, updating the app, but it keeps saying to please connect to Bluetooth, and my Bluetooth is on, and there's nothing prompting to show where, where it is. But anyhow, right now, the current temperature inside the pit is at 288. Uh, inside, you can't, probably can't even see that. Uh, one probe is reading 118, the other one is reading 109. That's, in, that's the internal of the turkey, but it's been two hours, and this is what it looks like. Uh, beautiful color on it. Um, I do have the heat diffuser plate in there, but what I might do is I might, I like this color the way it is, so I'm thinking about maybe wrapping this thing in some aluminum foil, and so it doesn't get any darker, because that's about a perfect color right there. So it's been two hours, I'm gonna go get some foil. Yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this baby up in some foil now. All right, to keep that, uh, keep that heat and stuff off it. And I also threw a chunk of, uh, of pecan wood in there as well. Look y'all, this little Bronco right here, this thing is amazing. I love it. Some people pose uh, questions to me. How do I like it versus a WSM uh, 22, WSM 18, the pit barrel cooker, the barrel house cooker? Well, I have a barrel house cooker. I do not have a pit barrel cooker. Maybe one day I will. I do not have a WSM 22 or 18, so therefore I cannot speak on those. However, this thing, I love it. I would recommend anybody, if you can, especially now, they're, I think they're like on sale at Walmart. You can get these things on clearance. These are freaking amazing. I love it. And the food this thing produces, oh, it's just awesome. Okay, so I figured it out and I got the, uh, the Inkbird app going. It's uh, been about two and a half hours. It's the internals right there. Got one side is 131, the other one's 126, and the pit is, is at 306. But uh, this thing has actually been holding temperature extremely good. Right around, uh, it's been hanging right around uh, 275 to 325 right in that little area, so uh, that's really good, especially to crisp up the skin. Not worried about really uh, burning it or drying out the meat because I brined it. So uh, this might give you all an update. All right, there you go. All right, y'all, here's the update. Right now it's 3.30, I got my phone inside. It's about to die, so I had to go ahead and plug it in. But right now it's 3.30 and the temperature has been stuck on 154, 156 now for about an hour. I even double checked it with another uh, quick read thermometer, my barbecue dragon quick read thermometer. And I checked it with this one and sure enough, it's reading accurate. So uh, it's just a matter of just having to wait. So I just gotta wait this thing out. So right now it's at 156, it's almost there, but it's been six hours. I put this on about 9.39 and right now the, the, the time is 3.30. All right, y'all, so it's a little bit after 4.30, so it's been seven hours and about 15 minutes. This thing is finally done. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put it into the, uh, put it to the pan, cover it up, gonna let it rest. Would you look at that? That is a beautifully smoked turkey. Cover it up, let it rest. All right, so here it goes. Cut of this bad boy. I love the color of this thing. This is a nice smoked turkey. Look at that. Oh, that already, that already looks good. Now, you know, I had to wait over seven hours. This is going to be freaking amazing. Cuts beautifully. Look at that. Oh, all those juices still down side of there. See all those juices? Look at that. There we go, just flowing. All right, let's give this a try. All right, let me give this thing a try. This also has the uh, the Suchi's spices on there. Exact island rub. So we'll see how that tastes on here. There it is right there. There's the color. Right there. Okay. 
Still really moist. Wow. <laughs> as soon as it hit my tongue, it was worth the wait. You can even taste the, uh, you can taste the brine. Wow, that's so freaking good. So for Thanksgiving or Christmas or even New Year's, y'all want to do a turkey and you don't want to deep fry it, try like this. I love deep fried turkeys. In fact, I might even, uh, I might do a fried turkey. Uh, but anyhow, like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Ciao.